right. Hello, hello, hello. All right, all right, all right. Major latency going on. But, and I'm not sure why. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I've been getting kind of frustrated at YouTube because I'm trying their new live control pit room and that thing doesn't work worth anything. <clears throat> it like tries to schedule it and it doesn't work. But anyway, in this video, <coughs> it's so irritating. I'm so irritated by YouTube. The new, the live room. Okay, I went to live and this is not, I'm not going to go there. All right, so I'm just frustrated with the new live control room, so I'm not using that. <clears throat> so what I am going to do is I'm going to show you a cool killer pentatonic lick that I learned and that I just made up, actually. And my name is Chad Garber, by the way, if you're just joining. And if you're just joining, why don't you go, if you want to, you can always subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of these kind of videos. Here's the lick. I think that's a pretty cool lick. I've never heard anybody else play it before. Maybe they have. And really, the new part is this. That's the part that I just kind of came up with. Everything else is just kind of you add to it. anything else at the end you want. So again, I'm in the key, not again, but I am in the key of A. I'm trying to think if this quality looks worth a darn. And we're outside in my backyard. Not That's the green screen thing going on. That's the lick. Or you can go. That's all it is. It's the A, my A minor pentatonic uh, scale. All right, what I'm doing is I'm taking my ring finger and I'm bending the seventh fret of the G, picking down, <clears throat> then I pick up on the fifth fret of the high E. And then I pick down on the seventh, eighth fret of the B and then pull off to the fifth fret of the B. And then I end up back on the seventh fret of the G. Then you hit that note twice. Or is it three times? Yes, twice. And then you pick up, I love this lick, and then you pick up on the, um, so you hit the, twi hit the seventh fret of the A or G twice. And then you bend it again. And this time you pick up on the fifth fret of the B string. And then you pick down again on the seventh fret of the G. And go to the pull off to the fifth fret of the G. And then you, that's what I said, then you end up on the seventh fret of the of the D. And then you then I just throw this in there. So that's that's the main part of the riff. I love that. So I wasn't taught that by anybody. I was actually trying to learn the solo of Sammy Hagar's uh, Heavy Metal. And this is not what he's doing, but it's I figured I played this and it sounds kind of cool. All right, and then what I do, again, that's the meat of it. And then I, what I'm doing, then I go, then I just go. So 
I, what I do is I pick down on the seventh fret of the G, <coughs> pick, and then I pull off on the fifth fret of the G, pick down on the seventh fret of the D. That's weird. Actually, I pick up, after that, I pick up on the seventh fret of the G. I pick up, and then I hammer, I pull off, I do a, I pull off on the fifth fret of the G. Then I pick down on the fifth fret of the D. Then I pick up on the fifth fret of the G. Pick down again on the fifth fret, seventh fret of the D. I pull off to the fifth fret of the D. down on the 7th fret of the D. Back, pick, uh, go, go back to the 5th fret, you know, pull off back to the 5th fret of the D. Pick down on the 7th uh, fret of the A. So it's like this. You know, you can pick it any way you really want to, actually. But the end result is just... Going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But anyway, so you so you end up with so So you end up, like I said, on the seventh fret of the A. Then you go back to the fifth fret of the D, back to the seventh fret of the A, and then you end up on the eighth fret of the A. my pinky for that. I love this. this is the main part of it again. The rest of it is just kind of top, you know, just kind of uh, the extra. That's the cool lick, and then you can go anywhere, but again. And really, this is, is fun, you know. It's, sometimes it's just fun to sit around and try to learn, make up new licks. Sometimes it's fun. There's another one I came up with too, but now I can't remember. But anyway, it's, that's the lick. Let's how it sounds like with a song, just for grins. I haven't even tested it out yet. Which is kind of funny. Haven't even tested it out yet on a real song. I just think it's going to sound cool, possibly. Let's see. Let's see what it sounds like. It's not going to be in the key of A, obviously. It's going to be in the key of E. Than I thought it would.
of a weird little deal going on here. That you can just use that first part sometimes. It's a little harder to do on the high E because it's not having much, as much room in the frets. But not really. Be a good workout. Swing them up. that in too probably not really it doesn't work very good so you don't have that extra peak that note it 
intended to go. The normal thing is it's kind of go. But it's skipping that B. We not like that background. We need a different background to make things more interesting. So I'm showing you one cool lick. If you're just joining me. I'm kind of just jamming now. Having fun. Having fun. Having fun. Kind of a swing. Yeah, I gotta feel it. Do it like that. But I love that. How are you? How's it going, man? So, yeah, you like the lick? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. That's the, really the crux of the lick. do a video hey steve ozone in the house will you do a video on teaching guitar scales and tricks sure look 
to the old guys with his old licks. Say, hey, Steve Ozone in the house. Yeah, I'd love def- definitely do that. Do that for you, Will or um, B- B- uh, We got like what? Yeah, I can do that. I, actually, I have some videos that I can show you. Yeah, Steve Ozone, what do you think about this? That's my riff. Yeah, the scales, you know, the pentatonic, all I'm using on this one is the pentatonic scale. Long time no see, Steve. It's an old timey, old lick. It's like a brand new lick. Here's an old trick. I love that trick. All I'm doing is there is I'm doing a hammer on pull off on the and I'm taking my other finger and just bending the string on the other side of it. And what happened to Steve Ozone? He left. C D. This is the uh, key of the E. Yeah, so this lick is just... Yeah, I was wondering where you were. It's been a while. It's been a while. Okay, so that, you know what that means, don't you? If Steve Ozone's in the house, you know what that means, right? Got to play it, right? thought you got away. Is that why you stopped watching so you can get away from that song? Yeah, but um, so which, which scales do you know Vip have? So here's the lick I'm learning. This is on the key of A. Here's the lick. I figured that's why you left for six months. So what do you mean? You know, C and D and D sharp? Vibhab? What, what do you mean? So yes, yeah, Steve Ozen, I was trying to learn the uh, Sammy Hagar solo because it's on, on heavy metal, which is interesting. C to D, A, C scale, D scale, and D. Oh, well, they're all the same once you get the, once you get the minor, major. I mean, you know, you, you can do the major scale. Once you get the major and minor scales, you can just do it wherever. It doesn't matter where you are. You're like, you know. Let's see. That's a C scale, but then you just move it up to rest the same thing. I think I played it right. So, you know, basically, once you get the shapes, or I guess a def- better way to do it, you can go. Do that. But I guess my point, though, is um, once you learn the the shape of the scale, then you can you know all the all the notes. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what I would do is I would learn. Here's what I learned: the pentatonic scale. If you already, if you think you probably already know that, and realize that if you go three frets down, that we, we, it changes relative major. So if you're like going this, if you're in an A. 
And you're doing it from the root. That's going to be the pentatonic minor. If you want to do a major A pentatonic scale, you go down three for it. Actually, you go. And then it becomes a minor or major um, scale. So that's, you know, the, once you get the pentatonic scale, and then learn the major and the minor scales. Here's one of the kind of minor. And then the major, oh, A major scale would be. Once you learn those three scale shapes, it's like, again, to me, it's all about shapes. I was gonna, I'm gonna put, actually put a, eventually, I'm gonna put a, um, I guess a, an ebook together or something like that, and it's gonna be called, there's a, there's a shape for that. You know how there's like, you know, there's an app for everything, there's an app for that, but there's an app for that, there's an app. In guitar, in my mind, at least, and the way I think, is that there's, a, there's, for anything you're trying to learn, there's usually, there's a shape for that. And so there's a shape for the C major, or the major scale, there's a shape for the minor scale, there's a shape for the pentatonic scale, there's a shape for the D pentatonic, or the D um, dominant, or D dominant, what am I saying? The dominant seventh arpeggio. <laughs> So anyway, there's a shape for that. So I'm going to put together, um, and then there's a shape. You know, think about it. Everything's in shapes. You got shapes for chords, shape for, shapes for scales, shapes for everything. Everything's a shape. So anyway, so we're, learn the major scale shape, the minor scale shape, and the pentatonic scale shape. That's a great place to start. That makes sense? No, it's okay. Hey, th thanks for watching, man. I appreciate it. Vib. But just the, the, again, I would say learn the minor, major scales, and the pentatonic scales, and then you'll be a good to start. I'll do. I'll pray for you. You have a math exam. Ooh, I pray for your God. I pray so much for his math exam to go well. I also pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Good luck. So, Lozon, what are you learning these days? And thanks for watching, VibHav. What are you even learning these days, Ozone? Book title, Shape Shifting. Ooh. Shape Shifting, I like that. I like, I like that there's a shape for that because that kind of plays on the app thing, but I like that as well. Yeah, I know, you don't want to fail. So go get, the, go, get, go get some sleep, man. There's a shape for that, Shape Shifting. Because that really is what you're doing. You're shape shifting. All right, I'm 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 saying you gotta go, Vipap. You gotta go get off. Get off and go go to sleep and get some ready. Get some rest for your test tomorrow. You can't stay up any later. All right, peace out. So what now? So there's a shape for app. There's a shape for app. You know, you know, like when when you say you know when you have apps, you're trying to figure out something to do, and there's a there's a there's a, there's a, there's a you're making something funny, aren't you? But they, they say there's a, there's an app for that. There's an app for that. There's an app for that. That's what I meant. There's a shape for that. But there's a shape for app? No, there's a shape for that. Not for there. There's a shape for app. Yeah, there's a shape for that. That. And there's a shape for that. And, and that really, you can learn so much. I know, you're messing with me. You like this little lick? You gonna analyze it? Give me the analyzation like you do all the time. That's all, that's all a pentatonic scale, basically. There's nothing really to play with. Another thing I was doing recently, I don't know if you've watched this stuff, but I'm um, kind of taking off a Jimi Hendrix little lick. He goes, here's another lick I made up the other day. I kind of combined a Hendrix and a uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan lick. I'm all messed up on the other one. I'm still doing the swing. Yeah, that's a lick. Yeah, I mean, we're all busy. I get totally get that. It's a good thing, right? You're busy. But here's a lick. It's kind of like Jimi Hendrix goes, like on this, on the uh, along along the watchtower. Actually.
that's the kind of Jimi Hendrix. That's a really cool part. So I took that and I combined it with the Stevie Ray Vaughan, and you get this. I thought that was pretty cool. The other one is. No, I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, A minor pentatonic. And then it's just the three. I stopped it kind of short. I like I like ending on this note. You can just do this part over and over again. You get sloppy. Anyway, I've been, been kind of making up some licks. I, actually, I learned, I'm trying to learn other solos. I ended up making up licks because it's not, it's, Sammy Hagar didn't do that, but it, I ended up figuring that out. I'm making that lick up, trying to see what he was doing. It's pretty hard. I mean, I've had, I'm trying to figure out Sammy Hagar's uh, solo on heavy metal, and that guy's pretty good, man. He's a lot better than I remember him. Are you ending on the C? Yep, yep, right on the C. But that that last part is just kind of the a minor part of this. The, the main riff is. The rest of it is just kind of throwing something in there. But yeah, I am ending on the C in that one. And that sounds pretty good, though. But you could add anything to it, obviously. if we can combine the two. Mm -hmm, I don't think so. So ending the minor scale third sounds cool. So ending on the minor third. Is that the minor third? Is that the, does the C the minor third? Is that the minor third right there? That's the minor third. Minor third would be here, wouldn't it? That's not what you mean, is it? Is it you were thinking, I think, uh, what was the minor third? Would it be that or that? I thought one, two, oh, the minor third. I don't know. I'm terrible at that kind of stuff. Minor third, I think, means... You want to explain the minor third again? Well, it's a minor third scale, man. It's a scale. The major scale is, let's see if I can think this out. Think, figure this out by talking through. But the key of A, the major scale is. All right, so if you start there, the minor third. That's it right there. All right, it's the C. So, yeah, minor third is a, is a C, I believe, right? Going to give me a yay or nay? I think it was on my left. I can't tell. It says watching two, but I don't know who's if it's still in there. Oh, he's still there. Yay. I came up with a cool ending for a pentatonic lick. Playing the fifth E fret with your third finger. And the third fret A with your first finger. Third fret A. C is the minor. Yeah, C. Okay, good. Thank you. 
So I got over the cool ending for a pentatonic. Like play the fifth fret, your third finger. Well, I guess with your ring finger, right? And the third fret with your first finger. You're saying end it that way. Do that. Do that right. Just do it like that. That you mean? Oh, that's a cool lick, actually. I like that. That's neat. Ben, the third foot, huh? Play a lick anymore. playing over Texan, but play backward power chord on the fifth. Yeah, I got, I got that part. I got the notes, right? Like that, I think, right? Thing to do. You're saying it'd be like this. Right? more time. That's not right. Ooh, I just give him another one there. Yeah, Texas hard, but I think I got, I'm not just that part I don't have the phrasing right, but I got the right notes, I think. I think it came up with another lick, actually, like this. Yeah, you could always add, add that in this, this lick I'm talking about, rather than going. Actually, you could go. I think the cool part is I think that's the whole the very center of the lick the new lick I made I like that lick though Steve I like that just as much. I'm 
this like this is better than the initial lick. <laughs> Sitting around making licks lick sometimes. There's three of them. So you got this. Oh, you like that one? Thanks, man. I really like that. I don't know if it's very unique or not, but I've never played this stuff before, so it's really fun. Oh, I see. I'm hitting that note, the, the wrong note. If only I can remember all these things. I don't really play all Oh, you don't? Yeah, I don't really. Uh, actually, I've learned some, starting to learn some solos. So I've been going, hitting some pentatonic scales. I, I started going away from it for a while. And I started learning these solos and it kind of got back into it. Like learning the Jimi Hendrix thing. <laughs> Made me realize there's a lot of cool pentatonic stuff that I haven't figured out. I mean, truthfully, I don't have nearly enough cool pentatonic scale licks or pentatonic licks i've got like i know the scale up and down but i don't know the uh, very many licks as many licks as i could and there's so many things you can do like that and again but i learned this one again i wasn't trying to come up with a pentatonic lick it just kind of happened when i was learning trying to learn a different solo oh i love that Reverse the order. Yeah, it is. Except for, have you ever heard this lick before? Have you ever heard this one? I think that one you have. Well, maybe maybe somebody's done stuff, but who knows? I guess it makes me realize that there's plenty that we can still make up. Like, there's still room. In other words, there's still room to make up new licks. Top pentatonic players use roll across strings in different intervals. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I learned some, uh, I forgot what it was here. Right. The original lick was.
All right, that's it. I'm going to go. Anyway, so that's the lick. That was the one I just played just now. One more time. And the alternate, you can go as you can go. See you, man. Thanks, Steve. It's great to hear from you again. Oh, by the way, do you see my, my green screen? Well, I'll, I'll show you later. I got a, I painted my whole office green, 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 so I can do all kinds of cool live green stream, green, green stream effects. Anyway, thanks. Peace out. And here's the alternate like I was trying to say. Peace. All right, 80s stuff. What is like like a 80s? Oh, you mean like video? Like I can do that. I can do that. Watch this real quick before I go. Before I go, real quick. Like it's gonna get really bad as far as uh, latency and stuff. But let's see here. 80s, huh? Like something like this. Whoopsie. 80s, like something like this, maybe. Like that. It's kind of 80s, isn't it? Is it working? Is it even working? There's 80s. Anyway. <laughs> There's all kinds of these. Did you see this one yet? Hold on, one last one. This stuff I can play with all day, unfortunately, but I gotta go. But let's see, one last one, one last one. I have time for one more. And it will be... That one's pretty cool too. Alright, uh, come on, come on, let's see if it works. Everything's freezing now though. Alright, it should go up in a second. Even that, there you go. Alright. Anyway, alright, thanks for watching. Peace.